So I was talking to my buddy Ari, who said that on all the TV shows he's involved with, people mostly aren't using dollies anymore. They use stabilizers so they can shoot faster. Well, that drives me nuts, because I don't think you can do proper classy camera moves with a stabilizer. The camera's going to be bobbing and weaving and feel like a stalker behind a bush. So I'm doing this episode to prove that stabilizers can't compete with a dolly for really cinematic moves, and that dollies are definitely not dead. This is Hot Moves, brought to you by Hollywood Camera Work. We're shooting in this building on Ari's studio lot. They call it the Blair Witch Building. This is a standing set for horror movies. The inside is classic Chicago brick wall, and it has so much character. We're going to be comparing Dolly to single operator stabilizer, which would be like a DJI Ronin with your DSLR attached, which you're operating everything and the camera's kind of drifting and, and that's fine. And then we're going to do the high-end version of that, which is dual operator stabilizer, where one person is wearing the rig and another person is operating the remote head via a remote control from somewhere else. But stabilizers have a look and a personality and I'm personally a little bit of an old fart in the sense that I like myself a dolly because you can just do these spot on camera moves. It's possible that my belief system is wrong and outdated and, and actually dollies are dead. Oh, you found, oh, that's the scary thing. What is that? Okay. She doesn't look much better without the mask. I mean, <laughs> it's almost worse. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's get started on the only version of this that I really believe in, which is the dolly shot. Ari's daughter Alexa is going to be standing here on the box, and then we'll track in at an angle while she looks over the railing. So we've been discussing whether we should put her on a third line, which is right here. I would actually more prefer her like on a quarter line to push her. I can't say what it is exactly. I probably felt that with a third line, there was a little bit too much air behind her, but I also feel that it's more like panoramic and more cinematic. Helping us is Ari's daughter, Alexa, and she's a firecracker. Okay. You see the corner of the building right there? That's where you're going to look and don't move at all. You're a statue. Standing still in front of a camera for five minutes will be the endurance test of a lifetime. Uh, no talking. No talking. That's probably too much to ask. Yeah, but okay. I, mean, so I, I take it all the way can out. I see, can I Alexa, see Alexa, look to the corner. So we're kind of already stepping in it here because she only has a few minutes of filming in her and we're wasting it on fixing the lighting. Just stand still. So we've decided that it's actually better without that light. Try to turn it off. Yeah, it's much more character. Beautiful. More horror Dad, can I move? Yes. Why are you on the train? So that we can get a moving camera shot, which looks much cooler. Can you hold this for me so I can push that up? Yeah. But now you have to stop. I got it. Yep. Good Ooh. job. Even with all this weight, the smooth bearings of the Indy Dolly allow a child to operate. <laughs> yeah, but not assemble. <laughs> yeah, no, but not assemble. Okay, now go to your mark. We're going to shoot you for real now. Okay. And light, camera, action. Don't move. Okay, so here comes the first take. We're already in really good shape. No talking. The building looks fantastic, and there's such a depth and mood to the shot. Cut. Cut. Beautiful. Good job, Very Alexa. Good. You did now so you can good. Move. That was perfect. You waited till you heard cut. Okay, that was take one. And what do we think? What do we think about the uh, foreground parallax? I think it looked good. It's a it's a nice start, and then we clear it as we focus on her. Okay, that should be more over here then, right? Well, it could be. It's blocking her now, but it's fine. Well, let's see. I mean, that's a little too obvious for me. I would split the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The doll is is really super obviously placed there for parallax, but uh, it's gonna work. You, everybody ready? Ready. Yep. Rolling and set. Okay, lights, camera, action, no talk. So for reasons I can't understand, I think she's standing too still. 
but it's a can of worms to ask people to do something subtle. That's hard even for adults and with kids it's much worse. So I'm about to give an absolutely terrible piece of direction. Ah, I bumped at the okay, end. Okay, cut. You can talk for a second, but stay there. We're going to do it so again. It, we made a boo-boo. Well, um, it's also, we should make her just do a little bit of movement. What do you want her to do? Well, it's just that it's, it's too frozen, I think. Okay, tell her what you want to do. Well, I think it's better you Okay, do. what do you want her to do? Just to, like, look to the left, look to the right. Well, we can have talking over it. I mean, there's no dialogues. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Alexa, do you see the windows on the other building? So I'm going to say, look at the windows, and you look at the windows. Then I'm going to say, look at the corner, and you look at the green plants on the corner here. Then I'm going to say, look at the windows again, and you're going to just turn your head from, so practice. Look at the windows, look at the green corner, slowly. Now look at the windows, now at the corner, and nice and slow. Okay, that's good. That's what we're going to do this time. Okay, here we go, and camera's rolling, stand by, lights, camera, action, no talking. And look at the windows, slowly, now the corner. Yeah, the simple lesson is that you can't tell people to be subtle. Even the lightest touch is too much. And standing still isn't even bad. The audience just fills the shot with psychology, even if the actor isn't doing anything. Cut. Good job. Yeah. 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 Are we hitting a bump here? Do we need another yellow thing? There's one um, bump right let's see it. the end. Let's see it, though. Playback? Playback. Watch, you're gonna look. See how fast your head turned? We want it to go slower. Like, that's perfect. That's great. When you turn your head nice and slow. I'm a big believer in actors seeing themselves on the monitor without sound. It's not about watching the acting. It's about seeing how big everything is on camera and how much the camera is already doing for you. And this was the magic sauce because suddenly everything works. Stand by and... <clears throat> Lights, camera, action, no talking. Slowly at the windows, now to the corner, to the corner, and slowly back to the windows, real slow. Corner. So let's clean it up and watch it a few times. I love this shot. First of all, the building is amazing. It has such texture with the rusty railing and the brick wall. And the Blackmagic Ursa Mini camera is really delivering. I've never shot with the Ursa Mini before, but I love the chip on it. The image has a real earthy feel. I've slowed the footage to 75%. I just like to take in the shot and I think slower is better. There's a whole story in there. So I feel like we totally nailed it. But we're not done. On the next episode, we now have to do this again with various stabilizers. And I'm not optimistic. How can anything compete with a dolly shot like that? So let's continue this experiment on the next episode.